For the holidays and beyond, the quest is on to find forever homes for some dummies in need. Oh my God, they're so gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Here with more on how you can help from Magnificent Mutt's Rescue, Michelle Cohen, Eric Sedgerman, and Callie. Vanderplow. There you go. <laughs> okay. Well, they had your middle name in yeah. there, Vanderplow. Thank you both, all three of you all, for coming in and bringing your friends. Can you introduce them to our audience? Yes. Um, this is Stanley. Stanley Hi, came Stanley. to Magnificent Mutts from Kentucky. He was dumped with his brother, Benny. Oh, so they're both looking that. for their forever homes. Okay. And Magnificent Mutts is an all-breed, uh, nonprofit organization founded by Linda Littell in 2001. Mm -hmm. And we're based out of Hillside, and uh, tomorrow we'll be at Petco and Elmhurst at our adoption event from 10 to 1. Okay. Now, do you want to keep these two together or, or are they good? No. Doesn't matter? Okay. Okay. <laughs> and this is <gasps> Gizzy. I, oh, look at my <laughs> um, He's from the island of Dominica. I actually came in with that big that evacuation big that yeah. needed to take place. So, um, a lot of dogs being tortured and poisoned. Um, mm -hmm. He's currently my foster puppy and he's also available um, about eight weeks old. And breed is a little bit unknown, but there's probably some lab in there. I was like, he's eight weeks old. He's pretty big. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Cutie pie. Growing boy. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and this is my favorite. This is uh, Ricky. So Ricky is a Rottweiler lab mix, and he's about 10 to 12 weeks old. Okay. He came in. He was surrendered uh, with his litter mates. So he's got a couple sisters and brothers out there as oh. well, oh. all available for adoption. Um, and like I said, you guys got to come out tomorrow and uh, see everybody and uh, all the different uh, dogs available for adoption. Love to get homes for the holidays for them. Any idea how big Ricky might get? He uh, He's a rat lab. <laughs> yeah, so He's got some pretty big paws. He might wondering. be he might be a little bit bigger, yeah. But, okay. uh, but it's, it's unknown sweet. until they get them. You gotta love them all, right? So yeah. you have dogs and cats. Mm -hmm. are, are the pets um, ill? Are they in special need for medical care? So people understand what they would be getting into if they choose to adopt or even foster, right? Right. We, we are always looking for foster homes, of course. We are foster-based, so they do stay in the homes with us. Mm -hmm. So we get to learn more about them, which is great about our rescue. Mm -hmm. And um, at this time, we don't have uh, special needs. We are taking okay. some breeder dogs that are coming arriving tomorrow, too, from okay. a, from so a sad situation as well. All healthy and, mm -hmm. and, and vibrant? Sometimes they come in, but then our rescue is really great about getting them in with our vets and making healthy. sure that they do get the proper care they need to before they're adopted out so you kind of get to make that special bond with them through that process and then when they find their forever homes it makes it a little bit more special too. and I love that it's foster based too because we can ask you directly mm -hmm. how's the puppy how are they what are they like what are their likes yes. what are they getting into what yes. are they great at so what, give us a little bit more about these two kids other dogs like what do you kind of recommend yeah, we can. You, we, they're around our my ten year old and eight year old at home, okay. and then we also test them on our cats too. So you oh. don't have to test them on yours, right? <laughs> and you get a good uh, judgmental, you know, opinion on puppies are puppies, right? right so they're a little bit easier. The adults. Um, it is very nice having them be foster based because then you can get all that out of yeah. the way and be able to know find the pet the best home for for them as well, right? Not just yeah. for the the families that are adopting. So it is good, um, and uh, these guys are all loved, and that's why I love the foster based program too, right? Yeah. All in homes. What is involved in foster? I mean, it's like babysitting. <laughs> okay. right. 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 There's no diapers, right. but puppy pants. Yeah. Yeah. Right. All right. And are you re responsible for the costs? No. Of, of, no, we provide okay. the supplies and, of course, the vetting. Okay. Um, and uh, we just keep in close communication. Okay. We look forward to the photos that you can provide to us yes. and then the, the, the bios. The bios are very important yeah. if they're good with kids or if they're couch potato pups or very mm -hmm. energetic. So it's really, it's really a great organization. Yeah. Callie, is it hard to let them go after you've been fostering them for so long? Um, some you definitely get a yeah. bigger heartstring pulled for. I think I've cried for three okay. um, <laughs> in our three years of fostering heavily. Um, but there's always another dog in need, so that kind of sure. drives that passion yeah. that mm -hmm. when a dog does find a home, you're opening it up to the next one. So I have three dogs of my own at home, and then oh, wow. we'll take up to three puppies at a time in our house on top of it. So oh, my oh, goodness. How is this one doing with your dog? Loves them. Oh, yeah, now that he's getting tall, yeah. 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 he's all up in the grill. Oh. <laughs> and how long does typically a person, when they sign up to foster, are they with the pet? Is, I, mean, I, I know it varies, but is there like a window of how long you keep it, them? It could be as, uh, as easy as three days. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. it, it okay. depends. Once it goes on the website, mm -hmm. and that's www.magnificentmutts.org. And you can view our pets on the website um, once they're up for adoption. And we have so many followers. 
and we might have five applications for one puppy. Yeah. Oh, wow. And so. Okay, so and we have as little as three days, long yeah. guess. It could be several months. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. So Average, just know like what three to four weeks. Yeah, what like what people yeah. be aware of what they're signing up yeah. for. Yeah. Right. Any requirements yeah. for people who want to foster if they can't adopt? Just a good home, okay. and we do, you know, a little background search. Got yeah. it. Okay. Yeah. okay. Okay. Fantastic. Okay. So you have an event coming up tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Tell us about it again, Warren, real quickly, because we Elm kind of Elmhurst Petco off of Route 83 in uh, Elmhurst. Of course, we're there from 10 to 1. Okay. So come out and see us. We'd love yes. to see you. Oh, I'm sure cute. these, these beauties asleep. are going to be, they're going to go yes. fast. Yeah. Look, well, this one's sleeping. I'll take that one. <laughs> no, I don't think your house is going to get a new Magnificent Mutts Rescue. Uh, there's the social media handles as well as the website. Check out the pups they have up for adoption or try to make it out to the event.